Hey guys, and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make generative chord progression right in VCVRAC. I will show you some uh, cool way to do that with pr pretty much of modules, free modules, and uh, this trip would be pretty fun. So I'm gonna start with clocked and then I immediately go to one of the main module for this purpose is a clocked random gates by count modeler so this thing can generate uh, gates or triggers or a clock type of signals based of uh, incoming clock so let's connect also the reset let's uh, leave only four first channels of probability uh, to get clocks uh, or random gates only on this one and let's uh, left the multi mode is on oh so this is uh, probability knobs and this is uh, a chance uh, when the next gates will be lit on. So you can imagine, so this is the first one is for baseline, so uh, it would be best with less chances and second one a bit more and second a bit more and the last one uh, more changes in the time. So this tool has three polyphonic outputs and they are all uh, eight channels. So we need to get rid of a rest of five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna use a signal manifold also from count modular. Just connect all of them. and just choose four channel so you will only get those four channel outputs this will be nice for other modules especially for an oscillator uh, to generate just four voice signal so the next step I'm gonna add is, is a clock divider polyphonic clock divider from 23 volts this thing is pretty tiny but awesome and I would get this polygate signal and divide it by 4 this is because uh, we should remain uh, less changes in the chord itself but uh, more variations in the uh, separated notes in this chord in progression so the next thing is would be a sample and hold and I will choose a leakage uh, from Vult is a multi-tool actually but I gonna use a sample and hold so I will take uh, divide by four signal let's also connect a reset so uh, here we have uh, four divided by four signals and they are now already generated a random voltage let's see what's going on here like that so it's a random uh, voltage based on their range and offset so you can pull us down and turn it up you will immediately see the changes and you can decrease or increase a range of this and it's pretty awesome to choose a range of playing notes so the next important step is add a quantizer and i will choose bidu dictat dictate uh, and connect 
the output from leakage to uh, main input of Dictat so it's a polyphonic clock divider and now you can see it also changed accordingly to our leakage voltage processor uh, then we should add an oscillator actually I will choose uh, mutable plots and I will connect this output first output from Dictat and mm, just connect it out to the mixer let's take a listen Yeah, it's already a random curve progression, so it's a basic patch uh, to get it. But of course, I'm gonna make it some more musical or some pretty complex to achieve uh, to allow you achieve a better result with uh, this all this stuff. So the first thing you should know about polyphonic signals, especially accords, they can be separated by left and right outputs in the mix cell. It sounds like this, but now it's pretty pretty white. So I will choose a bass master, also from Mindmilt modular, and connect it to the in and choose a right click here and also set sum to stereo and let's take separated left and right outputs you will get the same amount of stereo signal but now you can decrease uh, width of uh, the low part of the signal and then turn up the crossover and here we go, so you have uh, uh, root notes, lower notes, or uh, now it's basically the first voice uh, generated by this clock random gates and leakage. And yeah, it's now in this center. But I also want to define uh, the root notes as a bass one and play with some octaves and there is an awesome tool for that called FX or new FX from Sturm Melder. I'm gonna use this and let's pass it one volt per octave output and let's choose in the right click menu uh, channels automatically set by four and note mode is uh, octaves uh, decrease uh, first one to minus two octaves and second and third so maybe like this let's choose uh, another type of oscillator for macro uh, plots Let's try uh, connect a polyphonic trigger output from clock random gates and let's set decay a bit longer or a way longer. That sounds pretty smooth. If you bypass the best master you can hear the difference in the increasingly stereo range. nice and we can add a reverb for make it more dramatically yeah so the next module I gonna add to this build is a build slab to modulate or control uh, uh, output signal of the plots by slightly manipulating with attack, decay, sustain, release, and I will use 
I will use polygate output for that and let's pass this polyphonic output from plots and choose the gentle mode like that it's pretty nice and here you can see different outputs from dictate quantizer and I suppose to think that it's a different type of quantization but I can be wrong but we can try to change it in over time by using a sequential switch too and let's pass all outputs through it let's connect a reset from our clock and let's decrease a ratio here to 8 for example and finally let's connect the clock This way you can get more variations in your generative uh, chord progression. Pretty nice, and if you're curious about what exactly notes are playing, here is an awesome uh, CV tuner from Impromptu Modular, it's a 4 view, just connect uh, the last on full per octave output to it and you will see all the playing notes in uh, your chord progression and then if you want to grab something and save you can use a chord key also from Impro to Modeler and to get it faster you just press uh, shift C to capture and now hovering the mouse around core key and press shift, shift V to paste it. You can true next and I'm doing the same thing. So you can use uh, this kind of patch to generate some ideas for your uh, less generative patches in the future. You can just save a preset or save the overall strip of curve key and uh, transfer it to the another patch and then mangling between indexes here and uh, get non-generative but pretty fun and new for your uh, result. I think it's pretty fun. So let's continue with our patch and I think the next step uh, will be some uh, randomizing the rhythm a bit or a give it a rhythm to our clocked random gates. So let's add a gate sequencer from Lomas. It's pretty simple but nicely uh, designed uh, sequencer and let's give it some Two multiplier. Let's connect a clock from it and let's tap some rhythm. Can increase the ratio here. decrease a range a bit and set offset a bit down. It depends on your needs of course. So it may be a bit faster so let's leave an on x2 multiplier and then we can add some 
randomizing for gates is a fate from geodesics and if you pass a trigger through it just set the free will uh, to non free will to one value and just decrease it a bit and sometimes when you're uh, looking for it's would be missing some gates and and it will be uh, pretty much uh, bit random sound so nice you can also randomize uh, range of this voltage processor and I think I will get a same output maybe for it it also polyphonic so it will be set random value for each voice you can also uh, use it as a slum limiter so you can try to get some legatos pretty cool so many possibilities in there so the next step uh, I would like to add a separate bus baseline also we'll add a blitz and uh, let's use uh, for generating some expanders from count modular for this clocked random gate here's a CRGX CV expander. So just place it to the right, and you will get some random scale. Choose it to, and I'm gonna use invert output. I just copy this diktat to save uh, the chosen scale and pass inverter. Uh, output he to here and uh, I think it's pretty enough because its V scale is pretty low and I need s maybe some octave module So I will uh, decrease or oh, increase the octave in our chord progression since I gonna get the lower bass line. Now let's decrease it. Oh, that sounds nice. Expander from Count Modular is a logic expander. So it's based on Boolean logic and 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 OR operators, just based on what you set here. So it will be generate a trigger for our base. For example, uh, let's choose an end operator and let's increase our decay value here so baseline won't be drawn in this case for this chord progression and 
then you can also add some arpeggio variation to this chord progression. So here is a super arpeggiator from Count Modeler. So let's take our one volt per octave. I can choose it from mu fx, just hold the control and set it to one volt per octave. Yeah, it's a polyphonic one. And uh, choose the gate. Oh, I completely forgot to take uh, the trigger from this to decrease uh, CPU consumption here. We can also try to get clock from this and gate from this. It wants uh, just monophonic gate. For example, Thank you for watching guys and see you next time.